And uh, in this video, uh, I will show how to create uh, the data source in WebLogic 12C. So this is my admin console. Uh, going to servers here, I have two servers. Uh, one is admin server, which is running and manage server MS1. This also up and running. So let me uh, create one data source here. So this is a pretty straightforward, the data source creation in WebLogic 12C. Currently we are using 12.2.1.3.0 version. So click on data sources. So currently I have here DS1, DS2, DS3, DS4. I'm using uh, currently I have created four data sources here. Let me create another one. Click on new and go to the generic data source. And then you can select the, give the name of the data source here. Here DS5, here you can give, that's your wish. Scope, uh, it's a global one. Leave as default and coming to the D, uh, D, uh, Jane DNA name. Uh, this, uh, the application team will tell you uh, because this data source ideally should connect with the application, the integration application. So for now I'm giving here my, uh, this is my domain, right? VS domain. For, ex uh, for example, I'm giving here VS and the DS5. And the database type, you can choose, uh, currently I will use MySQL database. Click on MySQL, select MySQL and the drop down and go to the next. Uh, here the database driver type, uh, it will select automatically Excel data source, no problem and click on next. This also the data source type also XA and non-XA transactions, you will get the whole details from the application team while you are uh, working in the project. So for example, uh, here I have selected the Excel data source, go to the next and the transaction uh, option here, uh, no need to select anything, click on next. Coming to the database name, currently see here, this is my workbench, my school workbench. I have here sys and test data databases. So select the database name test and host name, you can select uh, this database is running on my same machine, right? So that's why I have selected local local host. And the default port is 3306 and the database username. So I have associated for this test database, I have associated these two data, uh, these two users, VS user and the test user. Database name is test and I have associated root and VS user. These two users who have connected to the test database. So currently I will use this VS user and give the password for this uh, VS user is and uh, select give the password here, confirm password and then and then password give the password here, go to the next uh, here, test connection. So connection test is succeeded. Go to the next. So see here, uh, give the cluster information. So what are the, uh, which type of cluster, like uh, how many target of the servers, minus servers. So based upon your requirement, you can select the cluster or individual minus server or only admin server. That's up to your wish. So for now I have selected the cluster as uh, all in the all servers in the cluster. Click on finish. Yeah, this uh, concludes the data source creation in uh, WebLogic 12C. So let me test the data source connection. See here, the DS5 is uh, created. Click on DS5 and monitoring. Go to the monitoring and then testing. Uh, click on this test data source and then yeah test of ps5 on server ms1 was successful if you want to restart the data source click on this clear statements can catch a click on this and then shut down or shut down and then if you want to start you can start once again the data source and then uh, yeah go to the monitoring and do the test data source
So it is the data source DS5 on server Amazon was successful. Uh, this is all about the data source creation and the restart of the data source and then the testing of the data source. Uh, thank you for uh, watching this video. Uh, stay tuned for uh, more videos about. Uh,